हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम मनोज कुंडारे द असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक साइंस वेलकम बैक टू आवर ई लर्निंग प्लेटफॉर्म इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव सीन द कंसेप्ट ऑफ हाफ एडर एंड फुल एडर द लिंक ऑफ द प्रीवियस वीडियो इज अवेलेबल इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स प्लीज चेक इट नाउ इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी द कंसेप्ट ऑफ फोर बिट यूनिवर्सल बाइनरी एडर एंड सब्सट्रैक्टर इन डिजिटल सर्किट्स ए बाइनरी एडर और सब्सट्रैक्टर इज वन इन विच इज कैपेबल ऑफ बोथ एडिशन एंड सब्सट्रैक्शन ऑफ बाइनरी नंबर्स इन वन सर्किट इट सेल्फ दैट मीन्स द बाइनरी एडर एंड सब्सट्रैक्टर इज ए इलेक्ट्रॉनिक सर्किट विच कैन परफॉर्म्स द एडिशन एंड सब्सट्रैक्शन ऑल्सो ओके द ऑपरेशन बींग परफॉर्म डिपेंड्स अपॉन द बाइनरी वैल्यू द कंट्रोल सिग्नल होल्ड्स इट इज वन ऑफ द कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ द एल यू और एरेथमेटिक लॉजिक यूनिट वी नो दैट द एरेथमेटिक एंड लॉजिक यूनिट इज ए पार्ट ऑफ द माइक्रो कंट्रोलर और द माइक्रो प्रोसेसर एंड इन दिस प्रोसेसर द ए एल यू परफॉर्म्स द वेरियस टास्क आउट ऑफ दिस टास्क द एडिशन एंड द सब्सट्रैक्शन इज परफॉर्म बाय दिस बाइनरी एडर एंड सब्सट्रैक्टर पार्ट दिस इज द ब्लॉक डायग्राम ऑफ फोर बिट एडर एंड सब्सट्रैक्टर सर्किट In this block diagram, we can see here that there are four full adders are used, and the four XOR gates are used. Okay, let's see details about it. Let's consider two four-bit binary numbers A and B as inputs to the digital circuit for the operation with digits A0, A1, A2, A3 for A, and B0, B1, B2, B3 for B. That means we have to perform the binary addition or subtraction for the two numbers a and b a is 4 bit also b is of 4 bit a 4 bit means a0 a1 a2 a3 and the four bits of b is b0 b1 b2 b3 okay the circuit consists of four full adders since we are performing the operation on the four bit numbers here we are going to perform the operation on four bit numbers hence we used four full adder circuits okay there is a control line m that holds the binary value either 0 or 1 which determines that the operation being carried out is addition or subtraction that means here this m line is used for to decide the addition operation or the subtraction operation the m has the value m equal to 0 or m equal to 1 depending upon this combination the circuit performs the addition or the subtraction task okay as shown in the figure the first full adder has control line directly as its input that means input carry scene this is the first input of the first full adder the input a0 that means the least significant bit of a is directly input in the full adder this is the directly input of the full adder the third input is the xor of b0 and m that means the third input this input is xor operation between b0 and m i hope you all understand this part the two outputs produced by the full adder is sum or a difference that means sum or a difference and carry c1 and this carry is connected to the input of the next full adder now if the value of m or control line is 1 that means if m equal to value 1 then the output of the xor gate that means the output of the xor gate is complement of b0 if m has the value 1 that means if it has the value 1 then output of this xor gate that means if b0 has the value 0 then the output of the xor gate is 1 if b0 b1 has the value 1 then the output of the xor gate is 0 that means the output of the xor gate is in its complemented form that means the complement of b thus the operation would be A plus complement of B. Now, 
टू कॉम्प्लीमेंट सब्सट्रैक्शन फॉर टू नंबर ए एंड बी इज गिवन बाय ए प्लस कॉम्प्लीमेंट ऑफ बी दिस सजेस्ट दैट वेन एम इक्वल टू वन दैट मीन्स वेन एम इक्वल टू वन द ऑपरेशन बींग परफॉर्म ऑन द फोर बिट नंबर इज सब्सट्रैक्शन दैट मीन्स वेन वी गिव द वैल्यू एम इक्वल टू वन देन द रेस्ट सर्किट परफॉर्म्स द ऑपरेशन सब्सट्रैक्शन ओके आई होप यू ऑल गॉट दिस आइडिया Similarly, if the value of m equal to zero, that means if m has the value zero, then, for example, if m has the value zero, that means this point has the value zero. Then, if b zero is one, then we get zero x or with one, we get one. If b one is zero, then zero x or with zero is zero. That means we get the as it is out. Okay, that means the operation is performed here. B zero x or with m. That means B zero. The operation is a plus b, which is simple, the binary addition. This suggests that when m equal to zero, when m equal to zero, the operation being performed on the four bit numbers is addition. Okay. That means when m equal to one, m equal to one. The circuit performs the operation of subtraction, and when m equal to zero, the circuit performs the operation of addition. Okay, I hope you all understand this concept. Then C1 is serially passed to the second full adder as one of its output. The sum or difference S0 is recorded as the least significant bit of the sum or difference for n bit binary adder subtractor. we use n number of full adders okay that means in this diagram let's see once again here we want to perform the binary addition and subtraction of the four bits for example a is we want to perform the addition or subtraction on the two numbers that means a and b a is of four bits that means a0 a1 a2 and a3 b of four bits b0 b1 b2 b3 here the a is of four bits hence we use four full adders here if a and b has is of made of the five bits then we can we have to use the five full adders here in this diagram we can see here that the m is the control line and this em decides the which operation is performed by the circuit okay em is directly connected as the input of first full adder the second input of this full adder is from a0 and it is as it is and the third input is of the output of the xor gate the xor operation performed between m and B zero, B one, B two, B three. Okay, if M has the value one, let's see once again. If M has the value one, that means here the value is one. And if B zero has the value zero, then at the output we get one here. That means we get the complement of the B zero. Similarly, if B has the B one has the value one, then at the output of the XOR gate we get zero. That means we get the output of the XOR gate is the complement of B. Hence, this circuit performs the subtraction. Okay. Similarly, if M has the value one, similarly, if M has the value one, that means this point is at one. And if B has the value zero, then output of XOR gate is zero. If B one has the value one, output of this XOR gate is one. That means it is the same. as b that means this circuit performs the addition operation here okay s0 is recorded as the lsb of the addition or subtraction and c1 is connected to the input of the next full adder similarly the process is as so on this is the circuit of the four bit binary adder and subtractor i hope you all understand this concept
thank you